Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ali and in this video, we want to talk about Faction Wars. In today's video, um, we have a special guest. We have Khaleesi with us. Uh, hi Khaleesi. Welcome to the channel. Hi, hello. Hi, thank uh, you for having me. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, it's been so long since I've wanted to make such a video and I'm happy that finally we can make it happen. Yeah, life gets busy. <laughs> yeah, it does. Okay, so let's not waste any more time and talk about like what we want to say in this video. So guys, before we go into the details, I just want to say this is a general video for Faction Wars. We're not going to be talking about specific champs. We're just going to be talking about mechanics that we use for Faction Wars, or like the little, little tricks that we use to make Faction Wars easier. And you can use this knowledge and use the champions that you have in your in your faction wars and just get through it but later on you're going to do one video for each faction and go into the details too okay so if you were going to go into the faction wars and you had any option right like you could bring any skill what would be the first skill that you bring uh, the first skill that I would bring in would be just um, any type of crowd control. Like, I think that that's very, very useful in Faction Wars because you don't really want to build um, a bunch of 60s. You don't really want to build every champ um, mm -hmm. when you are just starting out and focusing on Faction Wars. So crowd control is very important to keep your team safe. Um, stun okay. is one that comes to mind. Stun, provoke. Okay, so like you're saying that they can bring a level 50 stun champion or like a level... Um, actually it... anything that you have that has an AoE skill, um, mm -hmm. that can be built in a stun set. Yeah. Of course, a skill with a stun helps as well, but a stun set is very, very useful. Um, in there. Mm -hmm. So you're saying stun set, provoke set, or some champions that have those skills, just to help you yeah, like crowd control. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. to help you crowd control. Also, I would say very important and very useful is decrease defense. Decrease, decrease defense, if okay. possible. Yeah. That would be that would be good. Okay. So if I was going to bring someone with like a specific skill. Um, I think the, the first skill that I would choose, and I mean, you said CC, so CC is like the most important, I agree. But after that, I would yeah. say maybe Revive. I think Revive would oh, make absolutely. it... Oh, mm -hmm. absolutely. Absolutely. Revive, revive, make it a lot easier. It will make it a lot easier. It's very difficult when you are building for every faction, and it's very difficult to build your champs properly. It's difficult to gear everyone up uh fantastically so you're mm -hmm. just going to end up losing champs um yeah as you get to the last wave so revive is very important if you're looking to three star um the stage 21. right um but like, i mean it's still good uh, however if a champion is just a reviver i would probably not consider them unless like i have to because just a, a revive alone doesn't really do enough because like sometimes you just really need a healing depends. okay yeah but it really depends what else you have on your team yeah it does it does yeah uh, but like yeah. i haven't been like there is a there is a rare in undead um what's his name the reviver one i think you know what i'm talking about uh, I'll the show undead you. reviver yeah the uh, the rare one Second, let me try to. Oh, is it Grinner? Oh yeah, Gr oh yeah, yeah, him. So like, I tried ah, okay. using him, but since I have, I didn't really have many good options in that faction. I had to take him out and just go without a revive. But like in other factions, I had better options, but I so I could go with a revive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I believe I did some runs completely, like I did my Banner Lords without a Reviver. Yeah. I simply did not have any. I didn't have Ursala at the moment. Yeah, me so neither. So my, 
Yeah, so I had to just go with it and I went in without a reviver and it was a nightmare, but I made it. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, Banner and Lord was a difficult one. So, okay, yeah. so after Revive, so after Revive and CC, what else would you bring to Faction Wars to make it easy? Um, well, I guess any type of shielding, any type of ally protect. Mm -hmm. um, the shielding, ally angry. protection, and. Yeah. Would you prefer it's like shielding or would you prefer healing? That's that's tough. I think I would rather I would prefer I would prefer healing probably. Oh okay. Though here's the thing. Like when you reach that last boss, depending on the faction and depending on the options that you already have, mm -hmm. that last that the head, the AoE head that the boss does, um, is just so so strong that sometimes that healing isn't really enough. You have yeah. to have some form of protection, like a defense up, yeah. or a shield even, just to help you survive through that hit. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes just healing isn't really enough, it depends on faction, as every faction has a different... Um, there, are, there are a couple of bosses, so not every faction has the same boss. Like, I think it's the dwarves, where you have that one that actually like it stuns everyone but fears yeah, one, fears one person that is gonna hit yeah and it's like that hit just one shots um mm -hmm. a lot of champs it so does. sometimes having just healing is not gonna it's be not enough. enough yeah so like i would prefer like some sort of protection too but I try to bring decrease attack. I think we were talking about it before the video. Yeah. I prefer to bring yeah. decrease attack in all my teams, if if possible. But like, it's not necessary. Like, you need some sort of protection, as you said. Could be a, in a form of decrease attack. Could be a form of shielding, ally protection, and like so on. There's like so many buffs you can bring. And I think like getting the decrease attack is kind of like easier nowadays because of like all these new champs and like all these fusions that they're adding and like yeah they're adding so many like good epics like okay epics i guess not very good most of them are not that, that amazing but like i think I it's think kind it's of easier it depends at what at what stage of the game you are when you are starting to focus on faction wars i was I was focusing on Faction Wars when I was 10 months uh, in the game, mm -hmm. which is not a very long time. My roster wasn't wasn't that big. My choice of champs wasn't that, that great. Like, I still yeah. had some factions that I really had to just wait to pull something to be able to go through. Yeah. Um, so at that stage, your gear is not brilliant. Your roster is not huge like you are lacking some roles that would be ideal for faction wars so you are if you decide to focus on this you don't really have to fill out every role um that's good for faction wars you just have to make it a focus make it a priority be persistent you have got to gear your champs at least decently yeah or everyone's just gonna die it doesn't matter if you have decreased attack or whatever but they just have to be decently geared. Some of them need to have their skills um, upgraded Both. and stuff. Yeah. Like you have to invest into that to be able to complete it. Yeah, that's a good point. Like investing really matters because uh, I remember, I think Trey said it. Trey said like, I rather put good gear on like one of my champs and just get it done than just try so many times with like uh, my like normal gear. Because like, that kind of really yeah. helped me out a lot. I, I I think that helped you out a lot too. Because I remember like it you had did. so many champs that had nothing after you were done with Faction Wars. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I took gear off. Like that was so heavy on my silver. I was constantly out of because I kept swapping gear, gear um, back and forth. It was just mm -hmm. like, it was a real focus for a certain time like that this was my focus it was all i did every upgrade every um 
rank up every kill upgrade everything i did was just to go through faction wars like this is what i did it was a full focus for about a month or so but yeah. i managed to finish it so it does really need some investment okay so you're saying after the skills what they need to focus on is using decent or like their good gear under the, cha under the champions to be able to just finish faction wars they can't slack so what would you yeah, um, consider to. like uh, like good stats for faction wars like what would be the ideal speed uh, what would be the ideal accuracy and like so on oh god ideal um i'm not entirely sure like this was it was a year a year already passed uh, since I've completed all my faction work, so yeah. I can't really remember the stats required accuracy-wise. I think it's I like 220-230 accuracy. I believe so. I believe that that's enough to debuff um, yeah. the bosses and the, the waves. And as for speed, I remember trying to get everyone over 190. That was kind of my... Um, my low goal. Uh -huh. it, it, at the time, it was impossible for me to get everyone to 200. Like, it was, yeah. I just didn't have the gear for it. Um, but you would have like if you if could. You, if I could have, I would have, yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Somewhere around 190, that was kind of my goal to get the chance to that, uh, that stage at least. Um, okay. So, um, it depends on the faction, like the Shadowkin. For instance, they all need a bit more survivability. So I yeah. was really pumping a lot into their HP and defense there. That faction is kind of difficult squishy. to finish because there isn't because they're many healers. Squishy. Yeah. Yeah, and they're incredibly squishy. All of them, like even Toragi, who's an ally protect champ, who I did use for my shadow kin, he's mm -hmm. just super squishy. Yeah, he really is. Like. He's got a lot of HP, but that boss actually hits you based on your HP, so... Um, he melts him. Yeah, 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 the boss melts him. Okay, guys, sorry for the beer cut. Um, so we were talking about stats. So, ideally, I would prefer my champs to be over 205, because the champions are like, have base speed of like 100, 102, 100. So we get most in the faction wars. And like in order to go twice, you'll have to have more than twice their speed, right? So I would prefer to have like more than twice their speed, which is like 205, 206 on all my champs. However, that's kind of like impossible in most scenarios. And in order to achieve it, normally I would try to have to find a speed aura champion in my team or someone with terminator boost to help me go more, a few times like before like the enemy goes and that really helps with like the cc that you talked about like the stun set or like stun champions um don't you agree what do you say do you agree with this uh, of, yeah of course um so i'm trying to remember like my the shadow can faction that was extremely difficult for me so the mm -hmm. only champ that i had that had any form of AoE on her was Sashi, and she was in a stun set. Like, right. <laughs> I used whatever I could to put in a stun set. That helped so, so much. Mm -hmm. um, I think for yeah, Shadow so King, is... I did the same. Like, I didn't have a CC, and I put, like, four champions in a stun set. Yeah, like, and those were not brilliant stun sets. No, you no. could not have had like four or five fantastic stun no. sets. They're like 180 speed. Like the good ones were like 190 speed. Like those kind of speeds. Yeah, it's like it's manageable. You might have to try it a few more times. Like it's mm -hmm. none of these clears will be um, a first try clear. It's always gonna take a few more tries because of the RNG and everything. But um, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Those stun sets come in handy. Yeah, they really come in handy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so over 205 speed if possible, but if they can't, like speed aura really helps, terminator boost, increase speed, uh, like one of the really good ones that I think 
the game gives you for free is Still After Drake's. The other good one is, um, what's her name? Aikatoon. Apothecary. Yeah. yeah, Apothecary is pretty good. He really helped me in, uh, in the High Elves. I still use him after all this time. I already, I already had Arbiter for High Elves, but I used him too. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I use both of them because his heal is really amazing. And his increased speed yeah, and terminator boost really helps. Um, so yeah, he was like a really good one, yeah. He even acts out of faction works, he's amazing. Did um, you have any terminator boost in Night Revenant? No, oh, my Knight's Revenant, I think you've seen my Knight's Revenant, it's ridiculous. Like two cowboy access, Theodore, Drain. Oh yeah, that yeah. was just silly. <laughs> you yeah. didn't even have to try. Yeah, I didn't really. Um, no, oh, actually, no. My nice revenant kind of was difficult because I had like four good champs, but like the fifth one was not really nice because I had a Gaius and the boss throws back the bomb, the debuffs on you. Yeah. And like yeah, you need it took a revive. Yeah, it's a wild thing. <laughs> and yeah. you need to time things right. Like yeah. that one was tricky for me. I just had to learn how to time everything. Uh, how to time everything well. Yeah, I just had to play around with it. Um, it wasn't that difficult. I just like had to level up my solace to 60 so that the so that he just doesn't die because the boss one for me died in like dies in like 50 seconds it's really not difficult like the whole the, all of it just finishes fast but like yeah it's so, one of the difficult ones um, mine took my first clear of the night revenant took 48 minutes oh my god 48 minutes didn't you have like um a rector grass or like her stuff? i did yeah and she actually makes things a bit slow because of her animations you know how she heals between every ve veil mm -hmm. um so that actually made the run a bit slow and also it was timing the bombs right um so i had retrograde gaius Mm -hmm. Miscreated Monster, Hegemon, and Drank. Like, they're all good champs, but they're not really a fantastic team together. So that one took a while. Uh, Hegemon doesn't seem that bad for Faction Wars. Hegemon? No, yeah. he's he's good. he's also in a stun set, by the way. Oh, you're right. Um, Makes yeah. sense. So that that helped a lot, especially that Valk waves. Though those are nasty, so yeah, he they're helped nasty. with that a lot. Like Misfreded Monster too, he's pretty good for for that those waves as well. And the boss too, like the yeah. boss doesn't really kill you if you have a Misfreded Monster. Okay. Um, if you have him geared up good. <laughs> if you have him geared up good, yeah, he's kind of like Taragi, uh, but he's more squishy in my opinion because he doesn't have a shield or like crazy healing like Taragi does. Does he have yeah. a heal? Oh, he does have a healing. Oh, but he, he doesn't does have, have a shield. A, he has a he has a shield, but it depends on in which order you put his skills on. Oh right, but he's the A2. He places a yeah, he places a continuous heal on himself. I really don't consider his shield healing. on in faction wars because he's not gonna do much damage in there, and I don't think it, the shield is really that big in faction wars. I haven't tried him yeah, out, but he, it's I don't think his big. damage is big. Yeah. Um, but he's a pretty good champ. I would definitely like level him up if if I was like in need of him. He, he's time. great for faction wars. He's great for faction wars yes. for sure. For like even like some secret rooms in Doom Tower, some um, what is uh, so so Spider? He's a pretty good champion for Spider. Like, yeah, I was trying champion. to build everything that I would normally use in game, so mm -hmm. I. Um, the five champs that I've used for Shadowkin, I've only had two built. Only Toragi and Jintoro were level 60, they were both booked, and they were both um, geared up decently. Uh, Jintoro was in my clan boss team at the time too, so like he was really, he had a very de decent damage output. Uh, but like the rest, I had Tomoe, Sashi, and Kinagashi who is the only reviver for the faction. Right. The three of them were level 50, they were unbooked, um, so I had to really, really invest in gearing them, the three of them, up well. Otherwise, they would just keep dying, so it really depends what you have available for the faction. Yeah, so like, 
you used what you had you didn't use the best options that's what you're saying yeah yeah that's what i'm saying we yeah. just managed with what we had yeah i think that was the case for me too like i think um we were talking at some point and i wanted to level up a on was it common champion in on yeah Wars. it was a common and i was begging you not to do it yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was so angry with uh, the Undead Wars and what was the champion that I wanted to level up? Was it Deathhound? Oh yeah, uh, Deathhound. I think so, yeah. Yeah, Deathhound. And I wanted to use him for yeah, his you A1. Were <laughs> you were looking at the skills. Oh, but look, he can do this. Look at his skill. Like, read it. I'm like, I'm reading it all, but he's a common. Don't you dare rank him up. <laughs> Yeah, he was like one of the options that I had in mind. I was like, you know what? I'm tired of this faction. I kind of got him. <laughs> I, uh, I think for Undead Hordes, I mean, since we're talking, the way I did it was just using so many Terminator boosts. Because I still don't have a Reviver in this in this faction. I was using you like don't? Seeker. No, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I, I, I had, I had cool the rare one, Grinner. But I couldn't really use him. I used Doom Screech and Seeker. Double boost, and I was going like three times before the boss was going. But that was the way yeah. I could deal with it. Um, so yeah, Wait, I think... Under Hordes, I had Gorgorab. He, he's a fantastic reviver. Like, I used him in Arena later too. He's a great champ. Yeah. Um, but my trick for that faction was Banshee, the rare. Uh, she was in a stun set. I see. Yeah, so makes sense. Every every faction that I did, I had someone in a stun set. Same. I, I I think I think that was the same. I think for Undead Hordes, I I had even what's his name, Husk in a stun set. Oh, see, yeah. Yeah, I had Husk in a stun set. I had Dark Elhane in a stun set. I had, I had <laughs> everyone in a stun set until I got to the boss. And I was like, okay, I'm stuck here. I can't do this with stun set. So I had what to do like... I do now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like the stun set really helps to get to the last boss. But like when you get to the boss, that's kind of like difficult. You have to have like other, yeah. You have other to skills. have everything else. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah, that was it. I think this is it for this video. I don't want to make it too long. And I think like we kind of talked about everything that you normally need for the faction, for like the faction wars. But we didn't really go in exactly into details of like champs too much. Um, is there anything else left that you want to talk about that you think we missed? Uh, I don't think we've missed anything. I just, I think it's important to stress out that this is persistence is very, very important for dealing mm -hmm. with the faction. It's like that's that, that's just very important. You just have to keep going and keep trying. Okay. Yeah, because of the RNG, because uh, I think we talked yeah. about it before the video. So like, yeah. persistent, decent gear, use what you have, but try to like bring uh, enough protection, enough CC, and like revive. That would be like, I think, everything that we the covered in the video. Yeah, the most important yeah. ones. And use what you have not what you and hope to have. And invest into it. Yeah. yeah. And invest into it. Yeah, you have to invest don't be scared into it. Yeah. To invest. Yeah. yeah. Don't be don't be scared to invest. And like I think you mentioned that they have to they it's better that they use champions that they're gonna use like in other places too. Not yeah. like yeah. like someone like Ursula Ursula is much better than someone like in Horden maybe. Like if Horden is what Definitely. you have, use Horden, but oh you're not gonna use him anywhere else. I had Azor, Celia and the Lucky, Oathbound, Sathalia, and Archmage Helmet. Like, Azor is just not gonna get used anywhere. He just didn't get... Outside of Faction Wars, I've never used that champ anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't want to invest into getting him to 60, into developing his skills. Like, it just didn't feel... It felt wasteful, so I did not want to do that. I just yeah. tried to do whatever I could with him at level 50, decently geared up, and that was about it. 
but like, it was not the same with Archmage Helmet because you invested in your Archmage yeah. Helmet. I've invested into him. Yeah, he was yeah. he was I believe even 230 speed. Like he was a champ that was being used at other places, so that's mm -hmm. different. So 60 the champs that they're gonna use everywhere else, but like, but at least invest like gear wise and maybe even book wise in like other champs that they're not gonna use like. Uh, in other places, because I I think like I finished some of my factions, or like someone some what okay champs, but they were like all at fifty, but they were booked. Like I had enough book, I had a lot of books because of like doing just the normal gameplay. So I invested books instead of making them sixty because I didn't really have enough, um, I guess food to make them sixty. I guess it depends what you have what in your hand and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I guess it really if depends. If you have food, yeah. If, if if you do have food and that's not an issue for you, then go ahead, make them a sixty. If you have an abundance of books and you don't know who to book, then yeah, maybe a faction worst champ might be mm -hmm. more useful than just you know having them around. Yeah, I guess it all depends on what they have more, not like yeah. what we say. So okay, I think this is it. So invest, don't be shy to invest in like those good champs, and yep, don't try to be cheap when you're doing faction wars because it's not it's not don't gonna be work. Don't cheap with faction wars. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't really work with that with being cheap. Okay, uh, so I think this is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to be back with you guys with another video later, and we will go into details of each faction and like the champs that we would use later on. See you guys later. Thank you for being here, Khaleesi, and goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.